Okay, so it seems people are overcomplicating the process of installing custom-made campaigns and levels. So what we're going to do, we're going to try and quickly and briefly simplify the process. So as you can see right now, we're currently playing the, the original game, level 1. So let's close this down and have a look at our populous folder before we do anything. So head towards your populous directory, which is probably going to look something like this, but yours might be in the, in the actual program files, whereas mine's in games. So this is what your file will look like. Before we do anything, I want you to create a new folder and name it something like original, if I can spell it right, I can barely see my keyboard. Okay, and what, we, what you want to do is copy your levels, data and language files. So copy those and put them into your original file. So now you've got a, you've got a backup of your original game. Those are the three main files. And I put the hashtags in there just to... Oh, Explorer froze. So I've put the hashtags in there just so it arranges itself at the top. So let's say you want to install something like Age of Chaos, a custom made campaign. You want to head to one of my videos on my channel where I've got a download link. If you look here, we've got the download link can be found here, which will take you to my own download. It will download a zip file, we hope. There it is, it's downloading now. So once that's downloaded, we'll open it. Okay, so let's download it. Let's open the zip file up. And as you'll see, my download only includes the three folders that we already made a backup of. And this readme here is just to tell you what to do, make sure you replace them. So what we want to do, what we should do, actually, we'll, we'll make another folder in the populous directory. We'll call this one Age of Chaos. And what we're going to do, we're going to transfer the, full, the files from there into the Age of Chaos. So if you go into the folder now, you'll be able to see that we've got those three files backed up. Now, especially with, with games like Age of Chaos, they might come with some ridiculous installer where they want to install an entire new entire new populous exe and things don't bother with those downloads they overcomplicate things and ruin the, the paths for your folders and things so don't bother doing that all you need are these three folders so what we're going to do now we're going to copy those don't don't cut copy them and then paste them into your actual populous folder and they will copy over and they'll ask you to replace the files because there will be many of the same files so we'll replace the files in the destination okay that is done and remember, we've got a copy of the originals here, so we can do the same thing here. We can copy and go back. And as you can see, we're now loaded up pop this beginning with all the different levels and things. If I was to go to the, the web browser now and pick up Tick Owl's Journey, I've got a download link for all the, all the levels that I'm playing that will download here like before. We open the EXE. We go back here, we create another folder. Call it hashtag tickals. And we'll do the same thing we just did with Age of Chaos. We'll put them into our tickals journey folder. And then we'll go in here, we'll copy them over, paste them here, place the files. And here we've got tickals journey and all the levels are different there as well. So if you want to play any of the levels that are on my channel, they're all in the description. Now, if you want to play something different, then obviously there's a lot of levels. Head to this page here, hopper.net forum. Go to the single player maps thread in the map pack making and AI scripting and you've got a list here that, that's always that's been compiled together for you to download and, and whatnot. But bear in mind a lot of them will come with nonsense files but all you need is the data, language and levels. And make sure you back them up and like so you can just copy your original game, paste it back into your folder, it'll ask you to replace every time and for all that we're playing the original game again. If you've got any queries about this video, just let me know in the comments below. I'll make sure to help you out.